Up north, a little further from here also, quite a bit of damage up, to, up in Box Elder County. New Specialist Alex Cabrero live in South Willard for us tonight. And Alex, you've been there all day long. You've seen quite a bit of damage. Uh, what can you show us right, right. now? Well, Mike, right now we are hearing a lot of chainsaws pretty much all day long. We've been hearing that sound that you hear up there now. You can see this gentleman on top of this one home right here trying to cut down this tree that came down last night when the winds blew through here. He's been up there for a good hour trying to uh, cut down that tree as best as he can, but there was certainly plenty of damage to that home. But then as you kind of look through here in South Willard, this is at the Hot Springs Mobile Home Park. I mean, there are trees down everywhere. You can see where people have already started cutting those branches, cutting those trees to try to get them off of the homes. But people have been cleaning up as best as they can, even helping each other all throughout Willard because they say when it comes to something like this, helping each other is the only way to go. Of all the things someone could get from their neighbor. We heard something slime into the house. Buffy Halliday never thought she'd get a carport. And so we just got up the stairs, started checking and found it sitting out here. <laughs> but early Tuesday morning, there it was. It went up over the house there, slimed it and hit, broke their chimney and stuff, and then hit into our house. It's proof of how strong the winds were that blew through Willard. A little down the road, Brian Thurgood was busy removing all the trees that came down in the wind. They were like spears, you know, hitting the house. The wind was so strong, it even peeled the roof off of this barn. For as big as Box Elder County is, the Willard area was hit hardest. Sounded like machine guns going off. And this mobile home park in South Willard may have the most damage. Because the branches were popping and carrying on. And you did just shoot right across your roof. It was a hurricane. Old trees that took decades to grow snapped in no time, crunching roofs and smashing onto cars. All you can do is cry. <laughs> what good does that do? The wind also knocked down power poles and lines, forcing Highway 89 to close for a time so crews could clean debris. But for all the damage, no one was injured. No, nobody was hurt, thank goodness. All this can be fixed. <laughs> and even though you can predict the weather, you never know what that weather might bring. Well, you know, what happens, happens. We'll be prepared in this time. <laughs> and people are going to be cleaning up debris and the damage for quite some time, probably for days on end to come here. Willard is also waiting to get power back. A good chunk of Willard was without power throughout the day, but crews continue to work hard to try and get that power back. Also, Highway 89 is back open right now. We just came through there about 30 minutes ourselves coming through that area. Highway 89 is back open, so things trying to get back a little normal out here, Mike. But again, it is going to be some time before people can start feeling like things are anywhere near normal again. Back to you. Yeah, certainly could be some slow going for, uh, as you mentioned, to get back to some of that normalcy.